Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is November 15th, the year 2020. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report and one of Timer Digest top ranked stock market timers. We have a lot of exciting stuff and some uh, announcements here. Uh, we're going to have a new website soon. This is what it's going to look like. It's still uh, in the editing stage and uh, we hope to go to coding soon. So we're excited about that. Uh, I can show you as I usually do our, um, even though I've been trading for over 30 years, re recently started our short term trader report. I uh, see I average over 700 trades a year. There's our three year track record. And even more interestingly, I went back into trading futures last week and um, trading mostly e mini as you can see our uh, Profit there was uh, a little over 1700 for one day. This was on the 12th. They settled uh, on the 13th. Futures are open basically 23 hours a day. Uh, they start on Sunday night about an hour ago, and they go all the way through Friday. So, uh, again, um, if you don't want to sit in front of your computer all day doing all those trades that I do, all of our future trades are going to be auto-traded by or are traded auto traded excuse me by striker securities you can contact them and they will auto trade woodson wave report for you again a reminder to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the reminder bell and the like button i really appreciate you guys patronizing the website today we're going to get into uh s p i think we'll touch base again with tesla and maybe gold too. Some exciting things in S&P. We'll start with the longer term. From the 87 low, we have primary wave one. We have a second wave flat. Primary wave three here was in uh, January of 2018. And then we had that expanding triangle fourth wave. As you can see here, we'll make it bigger. There was that expanding higher highs, lower lows. Perfect expanding triangle. And that was the bottom of primary wave four in March. So we pick up the market from the March lows here. Now we're looking at a four hour chart. Let's uh, show you guys what uh, what has transpired and what will transpire. There's the wave one high. There's the wave two low. There's those September highs for three. And here is four. Um, we'll throw this up here right around there. And then let's do our uh, Fibonacci's to see what it looks like. We'll do an extension and we can see, let's knock that out. Well, we're going to have to do a little better job of placing that bottom there. Let's see, there we go. And you can see wave three gained equality with one right here, right at that September 2nd high. All right, so we can wipe that out there. That's a nice little check for us. Let's look at the wave four retracement if we can. And we're in the wrong thing. Here we go. And the wave four retracement. There is three. As you can see, here is an ABC four. Okay, and that did right between the 382 and the 50% retracement. We were hoping, not hoping, we were, hope is never an investment or trading strategy. We were thinking that the C wave here would gain equality with wave A, but it didn't. And when we moved up above, I don't remember our make or break here for the wave one low for the other triangle pattern or C to equal A or 1.618. It broke it. So wave four low here is on the October 30th low there, which uh, we may as well bring up to our um, Fibonacci time spiral. Here you're looking at that wave three high, and that's the intermediate wave. On September 2nd, you can see our Fibonacci time sequence. This spiral caught every turning point, every high, every low, alternating with our Fibonacci time spiral to the October 30th low. You can see here we had a plus one slippage into the 910 low, plus one slippage into the 916 high, a plus, um, I'm sorry, plus one 916 high plus one slippage into the 924 low. The one that fooled us a little bit with this gap here was the plus four trading days into the B wave high. And then we were looking for 
a low of Fibonacci 55 days after the high, and lo and behold, it happened here, uh, plus three days of slippage. What this uh, illustrates is if this Fibonacci time sequence is going to continue to serve us, then it points to the 89-day target of November 30th, which, if this is to continue, will mark the wave five high. We'll have to see if it plays out. So far, so good. Actually, so far, so perfect. So we'll see if it ended here or it's going to continue and mark the next alternating top, which are high, which will be on November on or around November 30th. So we can get back into our uh, our wave pattern here on this four-hour chart, and let me. Uh, remove that retracement and let's look at an extension I'm gonna move these out of the way here so we can get on and um, we'll get that target and then we'll get more into the near term so if there's our first wave high take our wave four low there I think I'm off a little bit but this came in right under 4,000, I think it was 30, 39.96 the other day when we did it. So that's what we're looking at for a target there. That's a five gains equality with one. Okay, so we're going to take the market now from this fourth wave low, which was on November 30th, and that was our Fibonacci time sequence for the move down. Okay, here again is that uh, that triangle pattern. And here is that October 30th low. Okay, so we can look at this pattern up. And we have, let me count this for you guys here. Okay, we have a one, a two, one, two, three, four, five. That makes three, that makes four, and that makes five. And you can see within that pattern, I mean, this is just perfect the way this has traced out. That's a one. Whoops, I got the wrong one. My apologies. Let me remove it, that and get the five wave pattern to the upside here. We had an internal one, two, three, four, five. And just to make that more technically correct, we will make that a different degree. One lower, minute, there we go. So we have a one, two, and then five, three breaks down. One, two, three, four, five, a three, a four, and a five. And we have a retracement to here. This is where it gets really interesting because we can count this one, two. We should just do that. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. So we're looking at that new all-time high. And let's, let's look at that on an hourly. We could even go to a lower. If we this will work. This will work. Okay. So we were looking here at possible five waves down. A one, a two, a three, a four, and a five below three. Okay. That has not occurred. We gapped up. This four could still be in play here. Okay. That's one of our two counts. We can get a five down, three up, and five down for this whole correction of this move up um, into the November 9th high. Okay, but uh, here is the thing, Elliott Wave. F wave four cannot go higher than the low of one. It cannot violate that price territory. I checked this out, and this low here is 35.94. 25. Friday's high, 35.93.66. So for less than one point, this count is still valid. As soon as this, and it could be as early as Monday's open, moves above here, this count is invalid. Okay, and that means we're going up to new highs. So we've got a really good tight parameter there on what's going on with the S&P. Let me get rid of that here. So if that's the case, we would have seen a completed correction. Let's get that uh, ABC there from there. 
we'd have gone down in an A, up in a B, and down in a C. And the fact that this this didn't quite get to that low, and this low here is um, 3511, and this open gap is at 3509. They could have easily closed that gap, but they didn't. But I would say if they don't move the market above this low, okay, and it goes down, they'll go down and catch that and end up closing that gap. And this could still be a more complicated fourth wave. But everything's engine on there. We got a really nice parameter, tight, if you want to call it a stop loss. Uh, you could put it there, but if we go above there, that wave one low, then I believe we're going to go to all new all-time highs, and we're well on our way to the target of 39.96. Okay, so that would mean five up is started. That is one. That was two. We'll go to three, four, and five. Okay, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but that would be the first wave right here. Okay, so that again is that. We'll go back here and show it to you guys. That again is, and that's a lot of gaps in there too. Okay, we'll just count that out one more time for review. Okay, let's get that five-way pattern going. So that is one, that is two, that is one, two, three, four, five, three, four, and five. Okay, it's hard to believe that this is all of the correction. But so far it is, and we've got our nice set uh, parameters. But we can just look at the retracement of this here, and we can see that didn't even trace the 382. Let's throw in the um, the 236 and uh, see if that. Let's throw that in there and see. I'm doing this live or blind, if you will. There's the 236. We'll hit OK. Yeah, it hit the 236 in between the 236 and the 382. Okay, so we, we've got a really tight parameter on that thing, so we'll see how that all plays out. All right, there's our tight parameter right there, that one point. Breaks above there. It's going to break above that all-time high on its way to almost 4,000. Okay, so much for the S&P. Let me make sure we didn't forget anything here. We got the time spiral in there. Okay, we got all that. So let's look at uh, Tesla. Nothing's really changed in Tesla. It's um, it's still doing its thing. That um, we can uh, get our five-wave pattern on here. This is a daily chart. And this goes way back to the October 2019 lows. We have a clear five-wave pattern right here, and this is I like to have a big-time Elliott wave technician so we'll call that primary wave okay we've had a correction of this move up from here okay from that wave four low all the other markets started moving up from the March low as you can see Tesla did too but it started up before that so where all the other markets start here the indexes that is this one starts here clear five wave pattern four stayed above one and five topped off in a blow off top so what do we have of this move right here from those uh, August lows to the September 1st high. And you can see here, let's get into that August low right in here. And there we go. We have a nearly 786 retracement. But if we look here more at this, this is a bigger retracement here. Bear with me. And you can see that of the entire five waves, this first wave down is a perfect 382. So this should be A, all of this should be B, and we should have a wave C equal to wave A. Okay, so we can look here, and let's remove that, and we can get our first wave down here. We'll do an extension of that. There's the all-time high, just above 500. Okay, we have an A wave down, a B wave up here. And you can see our C equals A around 291 and a 1.618 at 183. And if we want to get a little closer, we can look at this B 
wave high. Let's label that for you guys real quick here. Okay. So from the high, we have an A down, a B up, and a C down. And it would be off into the future. Okay. So we'll look at this um, from there. And then again, that is the October 14 high. We've got that. Uh, there it is there, the October 14 high. You can see we have a wave down. Let me get a retracement of that. I think that went to the 786 also. Yeah, it sure did. You can see this first wave down from the October 14th B wave high is here. The retracement up is right by the 716. From there, we have a wave down and a retracement up right on the 50% retracement. Let me remove that. A little clarity for you guys. There you go. So we had a down, up, and now we're starting down again, five waves down. This retracement could go to the 500 at 424 or to 430 at the 618. It could be an A, B, C. And we're going to do this again uh, live. Let's get an extension to see where that would go. If this retracement up is not yet quite complete, there we go. C equals A right there between the 50% and the 618% retracement. So if Tesla goes higher, look for it to terminate right in this area between 424 and 430 before the next wave down begins. Gold, 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 no change in gold. Okay, we have, uh, we have waves one through three and probably four complete. Let me label that for you guys here really quick. Okay. From the March lows, we had a one up here, a two down, a three. And this is, if you wanted to look in the dictionary for what's a wave four, you'd probably see a picture of this. It's pretty uh, classic. It's long and sideways. It's got a lot of up and downs internal into it. But again, the wave four low cannot go below the wave one high. Okay? So here we are there. It cannot go below there. But more importantly, let's do the Fibonacci retracements. I think this is a review from our most recent video, but it doesn't hurt to go over it again. There's our retracement levels. I generally don't like to use the 236 or the 786, so let's do that again. Fibonacci retracement, and here we are. Okay, so 4 is sitting between the 500 and the 618, and um, you know people made a, a big deal about this big, let's remove this out of the way, this big move, but it was still within parameters of the fourth wave, you know, and unless and until it goes above the wave one high of 1765, it's still a fourth wave. It should take out the wave three high here of 2075, and I want to get that target one more time, so let's do a Fibonacci extension on that again. Five should gain equality with one. There is one. Let's look at three. See, you know, just like Tesla, you can see that blow off top. Let me remove this. There's one, two, there's three. Three gains of quality with one here. And they said, well, we're going higher. And they said, well, it's too high. Okay. So now let's look at um, wave five target. It should be the same. Unless four goes lower, that's the only thing that will change the wave five target. There's our wave one high. There's our wave four low, and that's a double bottom there, and it should be near 2166. Okay, so that's what we're looking at with four along and sideways. It still is. It may consolidate more, but it should take out this high. It should go at least to 2166. Okay, there we are. There you have it. So thank you again for watching our channel. A reminder to hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, take care, everyone.